Welcome back. <laughs> the people on Zoom did, did not actually hear what I was saying. So um, what I was saying is that um, a couple of years ago when I started the course, I didn't find a suitable textbook uh, in, turn, in the internet that we could use. So what I did is I took a few books, pointers to chapters of books and so on, an enormous number of books. Um, and at some point, one of the popular requests of the class was, can we have a textbook, please? The students like textbooks, it seems. I also, I also love textbooks. So what I did is that I went ahead and wrote a textbook for that lecture. Uh, I put it online. Actually, if you go there, you just download the PDF and that's it. It doesn't cost you anything. But for the people who like to have it on paper because they, they, they prefer to print it and, uh, and see it, uh, I put it uh, uh, on Amazon. So this is uh, the second edition that is frozen as of uh, end of August. So if you you can take it if you if you prefer the the, the printed uh, the printed copy, it's a bit expensive because I put it with color ink. So the the price of actually printing the color ink is uh, is a bit more expensive. But anyway, you don't have to to buy it. You can just go there and just download the PDF and that's it. Another good reason for the PDF is that when you tell me mistakes, I just keep. Uh, updating the PDF, I fix the mistakes. I add the name of the student who told me a mistake at the end in the acknowledgement section. So if you want your name in there, then uh, find mistakes. And you will keep, uh, th this version will always be up to date. It's, uh, I don't know how to keep a book up to date, but I can keep an online book up to date. All right, and there will be a few updates. It's not complete yet. So the graph databases, there's the first half of the chapter. I still have to do the second half. The data cubes chapter is not in there yet. So I, I hope I can add it to the online book uh, this semester, uh, hopefully. All right, so this is, uh, this is it. Just go to that URL and download the PDF. It's uh, uh, on the, the ResearchGate uh, where you put research papers. So the ResearchGate uh, re uh, network, but there's a link from there. Okay. It has... Uh, I think 400, a bit more than 400 pages. So it's like uh, that, uh, that thick if you hold it. Next, in the exercises, practical exercises, we'll be using something called Docker. Who knows what Docker is? Oh, wow, I'm very impressed. Okay, so Docker is basically a way to solve the TA team headache of having to support the installation of the software on different operating systems. Uh, the way we do it is we package the whole uh, software that we need into a Docker, uh, a Docker file, and then you can download the Docker desktop app, desktop app on your laptop and uh, just run a simple command and it will uh, create the environment for you. So this is what we'll be using. Um, one of the Dockers is actually the exam Dockers. Uh, the exam Docker, it contains all of the data sets of the past exams in a single uh, Docker but there will be other dockers created for the exercises that you will use in the exercises. If you have any issues, now it's been a while since we've been using it, so it should work for most of you. If you have any issue, just let us know. We really want to understand the issues left with Docker, right? At some point, I think the uh, Apple Silicon Max uh, had issues, but now I think the newer Docker versions, they, uh, they have figured it out, so it shouldn't be any problems anymore. Okay, so don't hesitate to let us know. We'll see, it might be that we already give you something this week. You can already try it out and see if it works on your laptop. That gives you a bit of time to, uh, to, to get it fixed. I think we have now this bring your own laptop uh, thing, right? It's a bit, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know these things. I think technically the ones who are in the first year of their masters have an obligation to have this laptop, but I don't think the ones in the second year have it or not. I'm not exactly sure, but in any case, even if you're the second year, it might be possible if you don't have a laptop to run, in, run it on uh, ETH. Uh, there's ETH computer rooms uh, uh, as well, right? Who has a laptop? Who doesn't have a laptop? Okay, it doesn't seem anybody doesn't have a laptop. Very good. So let us know if there's uh, any issue, but basically this is the main uh, thing we'll use and everything will be packaged inside. It's called Docker as a reference to the containers that you put on the ships, you know, to, to, to transport uh, 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 things worldwide. Uh, I don't know why I did forgot to remove that one because that's I already mentioned. So you can just download the, uh, the textbook right there. Oh, this. Um, please go. You can do it now. Go to this page, chat.ethg.ch. It's an element chat. And uh, click on the right on student chat. You can log in with your ETH uh, username and password. You should normally see, at least most of you, the uh, room called Town Square BDHS 2024. 
that's the chat room for the lecture. So you can use it, you can talk, you can share memes. I think in the previous years, there was a lot of memes on big data shared there. So it's fine to do this. Uh, I know you also have some other servers, like there's uh, there are Discord servers and so on that the students use. That's perfectly fine, but we're not on them, right? So if you want to interact also with the TAs and with us, then this is the place to do. There's also the Moodle forum, so you can also ask questions on the Moodle, and the TA team will tell you on which channel they guarantee an answer. It's going to be either on this chat or in the Moodle, but you can still use both, right? Okay, so let us know if it doesn't work. It might be that the invite I had to invite uh, manually 440 people. So it might be that some of them didn't go through. So just uh, just uh, check if it works for you and let us know if it doesn't. Okay. By the way, since I see activity in the chat, uh, I should tell you that you can always ask questions and interrupt me because it's a, it's a lecture, right? You're learning. So you can ask questions. There is no such thing as a stupid question. Um, and you can also do so on Zoom. So if you type a question in the Zoom chat, uh, we have uh, Zikai here, who is the, the head TA, and he will interrupt me on your behalf and uh, read the question uh, to, to me, and then uh, I, can, uh, I can answer the, the, the question, right? So it's supposed to be interactive, not, for, not just for the people who are in the lecture hall. You can just raise your hand like this. If you're shy, you can also write on Zoom, but it's fine to also raise your hand. And on Zoom, you can ask uh, you can ask questions. If you're watching us on uh, YouTube, then send an email to the TA team or write to the uh, to the Moodle forum. By the way, I don't know if somebody is listening to us right now who's binge watching to the exam. So maybe it's January, a few weeks before the exam, and you you're watching the video at double speed through the lecture. Uh, we are here to help you. So send us emails. You know, look at the the, the Moodle forum. But of course, I hope most of you still follow the lecture right now during the semester. It's so much better for the brain to keep the knowledge if you if you do it over a longer period. Um, okay. And finally, the material, that's normally there's a link on the course catalog. All the material is on the Moodle uh, of the course, so you can go there. You will find the PowerPoint, uh, so the PDF uh, of the slides, the exercises, the link to Ethel if it's not already there. Uh, and uh, that's the central uh, point of interaction of the uh, of the whole lecture. All right. If I click, there's nothing that's actually coming, so I think I'm done with the uh, the first part. Is there any questions so far? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, we have we have um, uh, here this microphone. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does the student chat work for anyone? It doesn't for me, at least. So uh, it doesn't work for you. No. For whom does it work? For whom does it not work? Oh well, we'll figure it out. Uh, so, if, if a few of you could send me an email offline, just that I that I investigate, uh, it might have to do with the way I generate the IDs. Uh, send us email, right? I, now I'm going to get uh, 200 emails in my <laughs> mailbox, but uh, we'll try to figure it out, right? So that uh, all of you can uh, can connect. All right. Any other questions? Okay, on Zoom, also not. So if there are no questions, I'll just move on to the second part of the lecture. I just have to always stop the recording and then restart the recording on the other side because then it keeps it organized on YouTube. So I'm stopping this recording.